Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my weeks 15 to 17 pregnancy update. So I have obviously missed a couple of weeks because I did go away and I did not get a chance to film these while I was away or obviously before because I wasn't these weeks yet so I couldn't film those before I went away so that's why I'm filming them now. Um, I have tried to sort of map out what I want to talk about a little bit because otherwise I just tend to get a little bit scatterbrained. That's just one of the symptoms that I've been having. Um, it's just sort of how I've been going. Um, otherwise, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Um, you seem to really like the pregnancy vlogs, so I will continue doing them. So, uh, let's jump straight into this video. So, let's talk about symptoms. My first symptom has been my continuation of my morning sickness. So, I have had better and worse days. Um, I have only been sick, like physically sick, once in the past three weeks, which is really nice. Um, and I think that was more to do with actually something that I ate than anything else. It's just super sensitive stomach with the morning sickness, but uh, otherwise sort of improving, sort of not. I have my days, I have my moments. So that's continuation, but I know a lot of people do still get that until up to about 20 weeks or so. I am just praying to the Lord that I do not have it all the way through because it has been a long, uh, 17 and a half weeks or just over 17 and a half weeks, and I really, really do not want to continue to have it um, because I actually would like to enjoy my pregnancy and have the ability to sort of nest and clean and settle and do the baby's room, so. Um, yeah, another symptom I've been having is just tiredness, just general tiredness, but that is also because I've been traveling, so obviously an 11 and a half hour plane ride is exhausting, and yeah, I didn't sleep on that at all, and it wasn't great for my morning sickness, so tiredness. I've also been feeling very hungry. I think the baby's having a pretty big growth spurt because I have been not wanting to not eat. Like, I'm just constantly eating. I'm trying to eat at least a little bit more healthy. I did buy some apples and some mandarines, and I've been having fresh juice. Um, but obviously, I'm still eating biscuits. Um, I made some homemade cookies, which were healthy oatmeal cookies, which were really lovely. Um, but yeah, just really hungry. I'm pretty sure baby's having a growth spurt. Another really, really big symptom I've been having is, uh, or I'd say the positive, is growth of my nails and my hair. If you guys watched my video from like two weeks ago, my hair was barely at my chin and now it's almost on my shoulders, which is just crazy. I'm so excited. I'm just wanting it to grow out because I only cut it to get rid of my dead ends because I had a lot of them when I bleached it. Um, and also my nails. I had some like nail put, stuff put on it, like painted. For when I went away, within a week it had grown like a third of the way up my nail, which is crazy. I do not have fast growing nails and they have just been growing like crazy. So I'm pretty happy with them. They're like getting really long and I don't have to do anything to them, which is cool. Um, also, I've been getting a lot of pulling feelings in my stomach. It's not painful. It's just a little bit uncomfortable. Again, I think it's just baby having a growth spurt. And also, I've been getting a ton of baby brain. Like I put things in the fridge that I'm not supposed to. I put a container in the microwave that was not supposed to the other day. I just, baby brain, baby brain. Uh, cravings. Throughout the weeks uh, 16, I was craving soda, which is, or cola, coke, whatever you guys want to call it, um, which I think was just my body telling me that it may have needed something bubbly with me feeling sick and things and some sugar because I was doing a lot, a lot of walking. When I was in Hawaii, like, we walked probably five or six kilometers, like, minimum a day. We just walked everywhere in the heat, which I loved. I really enjoyed it. We didn't have a car, so walking was our only option. Um, but it was just something that I wanted, which is very strange for me. I'm not a big soft drink drinker. I haven't been drinking soft drink for years and years, but I let myself have a few, and I'm sort of over it now. Um, iced coffee, continuation, something that I drank before I was pregnant, something that I'm drinking now. Obviously, I'm only allowed my allotted two coffees a day, and I stick to that. That is not something that I go over. I have cleared that with my doctor, and she's fine with that. She doesn't want me getting headaches because I get caffeine withdrawals or anything like that, but I don't drink that much coffee to begin with. I don't ever have two a day anyway. And the last one has been potatoes. Mashed potatoes in particular, but just potatoes in general. I just like potato. Roast potato, baked potato, mashed potato. I like potato right now. 
Um, as for movements, I could have possibly felt a little punch or a kick um, a couple times, but I'm not sure. Being a first time mum, I, it could have just been bubbles in my stomach, um, you know, food digesting, or it could have been baby. I'm really not sure. So, um, give me a couple of weeks and we'll see if I'm saying, yes, I'm feeling tons of it. But at the moment, I'm not really sure. Gender, I'm so incredibly excited. I have managed to convince my husband, which has taken me quite a while to get a slightly earlier scan. I really didn't want to wait a couple more weeks to find out. I am desperate to find out now what we're having because I really want to start preparing for the baby. I know it's early but it's coming up to Christmas and my birthday and then the baby's going to be here and New Year's, all those sorts of things and then the baby's going to be here. Like it's just flying by and like we're going to be in our fifth month of pregnancy in like a week. So I really want to get start getting prepared, get the baby's room prepared because at the moment we don't have a lot, we've not bought a lot. And I want to start being able to. So we're finding out the gender this week coming up. And I will announce that to you guys in the coming weeks. After we've told probably all our friends and family. Um, and I will probably try and make a cute little announcement video. To let you guys know what we're having. Whether we're having a little baby boy or a little baby girl. Um, I've been feeling really excited obviously for that. And I'm also really nervous. I'm really nervous to find out what we're having. Even though I don't care what we're having. I'm still really nervous. Because you know. I think it's just a nervous thing. It's just you want to know that he's healthy, but you want to know what you're having too. It's pretty exciting. I don't know how people do it when they don't find out. I just, I would go mad. Um, and also I'm really nervous about my morning sickness, which, you know, you can probably understand. I've had it for such a long time now. I am nervous it's not going to go away. Um, I really don't think I could deal with it for my whole pregnancy. I mean, I don't think I could deal with it up until now. So, I mean, I probably could, but I am really hoping it goes away because I just don't want to have it anymore. So I have just a summary of the last three weeks. The first one was week 15 where I was still feeling really unwell unfortunately. Um, I was sick quite a lot of that week. I did have good days but I also had quite a few bad days that week. Now week 16 was a really good week for me. I think it was the warm weather, the fresh air, the exercise. I think all of that combined really helped. I just can't wait for it to warm up so I can get out and go for walks and wear loose fitting clothing and just be more comfortable. Like at the moment I'm just feeling ugh. Um, yeah, 16 was a really good week for me as I was saying. Um, yeah, And week 17, this week's been a bit of up and down. I think my body went back into sort of a bit of shock going back into the cold and having to stay inside and wear tighter clothing. So I think that that was a big change and my body didn't really like that. but. I have good and bad moments. I find that just snacking a lot really helps and yeah. So those are sort of my summaries of the weeks. And my final update is my bump obviously. I will insert a video here of my bump for you guys to see. It is getting more pronounced although it's not humongous. It's just noticeable. Um, I still am at the is she pregnant? Is she just bloated? I don't know stage people still sort of look at me like maybe maybe not um, but it's definitely more noticeable to me uh, in Hawaii especially with the loose dresses and things I found that everything I put on would you know be noticeable with the bump which was exciting but it was also uh, kind of a shock it's a big change for me because I've spent such a amount of time trying to lose weight and be healthy and slim down and suddenly I'm putting on like weight and stuff um, not a massive amount of weight but you know I'm, I'm starting to look more round which is something that obviously um, in my mind I'm struggling with a little bit but yeah I am trying to embrace it because we are obviously growing this little miracle and it will all be worth it in the end so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, Please don't forget to click subscribe if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't seen my face before. And leave any video requests down below in the comments. If you want me to do any sort of particular baby videos, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!